Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Europa and Visualis 4 Cradle of Civilization as the Mamluks that have formed Arabia. Last episode, we... Uh, what the hell did we do? Yes, we fought against Hungary. We finally, finally made the Levant turnabout happen. And, um, well, we had a massive war. Because we realized that Spain has the Commonwealth in a personal union. What the hell is that and how could anyone have let that happen? Ugh, like it must have been French intervention somehow. That the France got uh, like chance to like in interrupt this, but failed. And Spain just well started pushing into France, and oh god, horribleness! Just general horribleness. Like I'm thinking, we have to break that up somehow before the end of the game. But I'm not sure how or when we're gonna do it. Right now, we're gonna just invade. Well, invade Delhi and see if we can do anything fun right there. Uh, we are training several troops right now. Let's just stop with that. We don't have to anymore because, well, we already have full professionalism right now. We hired a couple of leaders and that really bumped us up. Uh, let's see. We have 900 diplo points but nothing really to spend it on. Well, I guess we can always go right here. Promote Merkulis. Get one more right here. We're at 40% right now, so this should help us quite a bit. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Just a couple of them. Mm, let's say five more right there. Or four more. Yep, that helps. Thank you. Uh, so, is there anything we're waiting for? I don't think so. We have a good amount of manpower right now. Oh god, we have a lovely amount of manpower now. We don't get the horrible events every second day. Uh, I'm still mad about it. Uh, someone wanted me to annex Crimea. And um, yeah, they ally with Scotland, so I don't see a reason to why not. Um, basically, I heard when you annex them. Oh god, I was gonna make this horrible, horrible joke right now. And I at least I managed to stop myself. I was gonna say something like, yeah, they were like, cry me a river. Oh god, that was horrible. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh, advice right here. Um, I'm almost thinking of the land maintenance modifier guy right here, minus 10%, but uh, let's just go for the morale of armies. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. And then, all right, we we can't afford to promote him. Oh, really? Holy crap, we're paying so much money to... <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. It's crazy much mo money. Let's see. They're costing like 12 months of promotion or 12 months of salary. No, no, it got to be much more than that. 12 years of salary to be promoted or something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. If we clear one right here, trans. Yeah, you will join, but not Sean. Okay. Um, can I somehow break this? Because uh, it would be kind of nice if you just simply didn't. Can I somehow break with you? Nope. Okay, then we have to, well, slightly change our well, setup right now. Or who should we should we just try to go in and kill Delhi within seconds? We still have a truce with Bahamas. That's fine. If we just rushed in right here, now they would still like manage to run by and be general annoying. Uh, I'm going to take two of these armies and deploy you right there and you. Let's see, right there, I think. Yeah. So, they're basically placed right here as stopping armies. Whatever they are sending down, you're just gonna stand right there and try to protect and, well, slaughter any army that try to sneak by. If they stay in these provinces, I'm gonna be fine. Just occupy them, besiege them down, whatever. I'm not gonna react to it. But as soon as you try to sneak by my armies, then that's something else. Actually, why not place them a bit closer? You can stay right here and you can be right there. So basically we have almost every single province blocked. And this one have a fort, so you should basically be blocking these two. Cool, cool, cool. This will, I think, actually work. I will slowly move you down slightly. No, Bengal, I'm not going to accept any lines from you. But you could attack them at the same time as me. Uh, yeah, nothing more. Cool, declare this war. March in. Let's see. Do this very quickly and, well, methodically. And you go in right here. There we go. The army of Delhi is over here. Let's see if we can force march and grab it. Basically, they're going to go in right there. Ah, oh, we, we're going to get it. Maybe even a stack wipe. Nope, nope, nope. Not even close. Right there. 
Uh, let's see, are you gonna march around right there? You very much might, but let's just grab this fort then. Uh, that's actually capital, let's go in right there. We're going in here. Let's see, you march up right there. Just slowly but steadily grab everything. God, this is, this is very nice. No, don't move this, those armies, don't move those armies. I was gonna instantly move them. No, no, no throwing away stuff right there. Uh, where the hell are you? Where are you going? Okay, you're going right there. Uh, we are not gonna get you. We're not gonna get you. Okay, never mind then. We're just gonna continue besieging down everything. Thank you. Uh, right there, you can move up. You're gonna be done now. Excellent, cool. Just continue downwards. Actually, you continue upwards. Uh, you go in right here. You go in right there. You push downwards you go right there instead and yeah you push there cool cool and now you are gonna at well, least clean up this area so they don't get any option to basically retreat back there again uh, you can actually go in here and just destroy that army wherever they might whatever they might be trying to do right here and boom a stack wipe excellent excellent and here we go we have our first army trying to sneak by uh, let's wait a tiny bit more there we go you're locked in uh, we have way too many leaders. Holy crap, why did we, didn't we disband all the leaders? No, oh, I guess we settled with that 6 out of 4 was good enough because we're still gaining 8. And we're gonna get 9, we can get 10, yeah. Holy crap, that's amazing. Oh, we don't have all our modifiers right now. Whoopsie. Uh, let's get that discipline. Uh, and what more? Yes, get that artillery combat ability. Uh, I'm not gonna pick you right now. So yeah, we're fine with this. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, let's 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 be fine with that. Cool. And now, well, we have a leader. We have five percent more discipline and an army coming forwards. And I want to see a stack wipe now. No, not like I want to. Don't see anything. That was definitely a stack wipe. That gotta be a stack wipe. Ah, beautiful. Very very beautiful. <laughs> uh, you go in. Wait, I can't. Oh, this is wasteland, and <laughs> this is oh crap. Uh, never mind then. Okay, now when you've been moving in right here, I'm gonna start moving up right here. Hopefully be able to stop them. You move in and take that. You continue moving down like this. And you take... Oh wait, you haven't taken that last one. Oh, a new ruler. Uh, let's see, we can't pick any of the leader powers. No, we can't. Uh, let's see, so. Dagestan, Egyptian, Ormu, or... Fun. Uh, we're definitely gonna take the Egyptian one because, well, we actually, well, our primary culture. Yeah, so the leader was, well, horrendous if you compare with everyone else. Holy crap, you're bad. But it has 11% of our total development, which should be able to give us some pretty good abilities. Uh, well, we're not getting the best of stats right here, but it's gonna be very much improved once we have, well, not very much improved, but this is at least gonna be an 8. And having 8 every single month in anything. It's still pretty goddamn good. Uh, God, I love level 5 advisors. I love them. They're the best thing ever. This is getting me so much. Uh, actually, who were you allied with? Perm and Delhi. Crap, I should probably have called you in as co equilibrium so we can just have grabbed even more territory right there. Ah, mistakes were made. Uh, let's see. March down right there. You continue right there. You go in right there. And then go right there, thank you. And let's see, Bengal, you're attacking them. Yeah, no surprise right there. I don't think, are, did you even get their ally? Yeah, so they did join in this war as well. Talk about loyalty. Uh, let's see, just grab this. Uh, get the 5% extra tax. And you try to go up right there and you stop them. Thank you. Um, you continue upwards or, well, sideways or whatever you want to say. Uh, you go down right here and try to stop them from retaking, well, retaking, taking my fort. No retaking right there. There we go, continue. Wait, what? Really? Bengal got that one? Ah, oh, come on. Uh, oh, call to arms against Portugal, I don't care. Uh, let's just um, revert course right there with the heresy. We can't accept any heresy in our land. Uh, let's see, natural decision, adopted uh, title of, yeah, sure. Oh, right, we only got one instead of like three or four, as we usually get with our really good leaders. Uh, military access, sure, that's fine. And let's also accept the defender of faith once again. 
Wait, Bengal took it from me? Oh, really? Really? That, that's kind of bad, actually. Well, wait. What does it really give? 5% morale, monthly war exhaustion, yearly prestige. Well, yearly prestige, actually, we don't have 100% without it. Oh, that's interesting. Huh, damn it, Bengal. Well, soon enough, you're gonna get, well, soon enough, someone is gonna attack someone, and, well, you're gonna have to break it. Well, maybe you will accept, but you will definitely lose the war. Uh, let's see. Let's clear war. Uh, well, not to clear war. Let's <laughs> let's send a missionary right there. Come on, just take this down. We have a couple of things right there. They're protecting your capital from two forts right now. There we go. Now it should be possible for you to go in right here. Yeah, excellent. And this is done. Cool. No weird armies anywhere. Nothing to well be annoying. Nope. All these armies just take down the lost path right there. And take down the capital right there. Thank you. So from from you, we want all your possible money. We want more reparations. And we want a slight bit of land. Like this would be preferable if we could get that. So I'm gonna take my entire army. And just start well, besieging, besieging you down. For everything that you're worth. Or you could just give me what I want. Uh, actually, instead of you going right there, you could just be going right there. That'd be fine as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, god, five. Merklins, that's 500 diplo power. Let's get that, definitely. 500 diplo power. Holy crap. 51 right now. That's awesome. That's really, really good. Uh, peace steals from both of you? No, I don't care. You're gonna give me what I want and, well... Nothing more, nothing less. Well, actually, you might give me slightly more. Because now when you're being annoying, I'm not feeling that willing to actually accept peace with you. And look at these three, are these four taken, so I'm just gonna move you up like this. That kinda works. Bengal, what are you doing? This is my land. We're just trying to send me peace deals right now. Just accept what I want and I'll be happy. Let's see, you do have one more fort, two more forts, three more forts in all very bad territory. Let me just occupy the rest of it and we'll see if you don't accept it. Right here, move in. Thank you. God, this is going really fast. Just occupying a massive, massive power right there. Uh, let's see, you guys are taking this, then you're gonna go in right there, you're gonna go in right there. You're just gonna continue upwards, thank you. And uh, nothing is going on down here in the south, excellent, cool. Let's accept here, let's just continue missionary strengthening, <laughs> or missionarying a bit here and there. Thank you, that's taken, let's go for the fort up here now. Uh, you can actually be sent away, no. Come on, let's just accept this, accept that peace deal. Oh, very close, very, very close right now. There we go, you will finally accept it. Basically, I just want to unite my front right here. There we go. Can I take this one too? I would really like to grab these two as well. Maybe that's too greedy right now. Let's see if we can make it a bit quickly. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. And a bit right there. And a bit right there. And a bit right there. <laughs> Oops. Hashtag greedy. Uh, let's see. We're gonna just... Um, no, we're not gonna do anything right there. Uh, let's okay, okay. Let's just make this piece right now. One more territory. Damn it. No, nope. let's just do it. let's just do it. One hundred diplo points. Thank you. That's gonna be pretty nice. A bit border war ugly right here, we, but we can fix that in another war. Uh, Hungary, you want military access? Sure. Like uh, you were a really trustworthy ally for me, but now yeah, you bloody hate me again. <laughs> again. Ah, uh, yeah, actually, again, I think you hated me in the beginning, but I kind of fixed it. So, Delhi, 99% against you. What are you going to give to me? Well, you're basically going to give me your life and soul. And we're going to clean up the borders right here. Uh, let's see. Yes. Basically, from upwards, downwards. As much land as we possibly can take. 
Yeah, I think this is gonna be pretty good. Oh crap, that's actually 100%, 111 percent aggressive expansion. And together with the other thing, that would be way too much, 15. So, okay, we're not gonna grab as much land as possible, but we're gonna grab a lot of land. Uh, let's see. Damn it, I really don't wanna make horrible borders, but I do want your capital. Okay, that's 81%, that's good enough. All that money, I want uh, give up claims in my land. Actually, no, let's just grab war operation. And let's see, let's end your alliances with them. Cool, cool, send demands, boom. A massive part of your land just disappeared right there. 96% uh, over ex or uh, over extension right now, so that's gonna increase re uh, revolt risk by 4.8%. God, that's quite a bit. But I think we'll be all right. Oh, this is actually 2.7%. <sighs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. So we're just gonna cancel everything right here. Cancel, 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 cancel. Just because we have so much extra diplo power. We're gonna reduce this. Yeah. On the most smaller ones, it's not gonna make a difference. But at the big, slightly bigger ones, well, a couple of admin power here and there. There we go. We probably didn't even save like 75 power to make it a one to one change. But still, I think it's fine. So, uh, Swali Coast. Oh, wait, wait, weren't we gonna make... Oh, right, we saved one, but then we realized that we didn't have to. Central Swali Coast. Oh, so this is actually a really good area. Cool. Then we're gonna take that, and we're also gonna make full course out of them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Cool. Uh, let's see, what else were we talking about? What else were we talking about? Where's my entire army? Right here. I think it's time to try to break this alliance or break this personal union they have with Spain. But this time be prepared for it and not be super confusing when they, once they invade me. This would actually kind of work. It's only the knights, a ton of random allies. Okay. So if I deploy one, two, three armies right there, that'd be pretty good. I will just instantly take all of this and then just hold them right there. Okay, so I want three armies. One, two, three. And you might wonder why so much when the front is so little and stuff. It's Spain. They might they might have a very very good army right there. And I don't really just want to understate it. They get crushed. So it's still 120,000 men I'm sending down there. That feels like the least I have to do. Okay. So what we're gonna do right here, conscription centers, and we're gonna deploy a couple of them. Actually, first of all, right, we can't promote this at all because it's not primary culture. Ah, oh, that was the issue. Not that we didn't have enough money. Ah, oh, and oh god, people are definitely gonna comment about it. Damn it, damn it. I I hate it when I make a mistake and realize it later in the video, and I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna read about it. Hashtag blame Daniel. Like, how hard is it to actually read the text right there? It's not that hard. Uh, let's see, Denmark and Russia. Huh, sure. And you, well, fine. Uh, what else are we going to pick right here? Ignore corn distance. Yeah, sure, that might be slightly useful still. So, 51. No, not yet. It's about in 70s I want to do my war. Like, 1770. Yeah, 70, 71 would be optimal, but 70, 70, I would say is fine. And uh, we have a couple more things to cord and stuff would be a lot cheaper. Yeah, then we're just going to wait slightly. Can we score everything right there? All oh, right, do we have any rebellions right now? Actually, we have quite many rebellions maybe popping up, but that's well, everything is under. Yeah, everything is under four. It's only because of my revolt risk right now <laughs> or my aggressive expansion they have any kind of revolt risk at all. Uh, 50 power, 20 military armor tradition. I think I want the military uh, armor tradition actually. There, 100, boom. Well, it won't really help us that much, but let's see if we can get a really good leader right now with 100%. Let's actually, first time in the game, we have it. Let's once again rename one, one general, well, my nickname, and four, well, five, four, six, two. Not the worst, not the worst at all. Pretty decent. 
Uh, let's see where we have two armies marching right here, but what? Where is the third army? Oh, it gotta be you that somehow we're interrupted. Uh, so I'm gonna send one right there, right there, and right there. Come on, get up, and get back there, because all of these armies standing in correct position. There we go. Tons of truces. No longer being valid. Excellent. Uh, let's see. I see guidance from holy places. No, mistresses, please. And, uh, hmm. Defender faith, maybe? Oh, oh, I can't steal it yet. I think they. it's five years and I can steal it if I have more prestige than they have. Um, let's see. You need more prestige in Kurt Defender. Oh, they are also 99 right now. Oh, I'm slightly less than they have. <laughs> really, that's ridiculous. Uh, let's see, if we can, can we make some kind of super small time war and just get more than they are? Uh, Scotland, yes, let's do this. Let's go in from both sides right there. And just go in and take them down. Hello, where's my fleet? Right there. Go in right here. No, you're gonna stay exactly where you are. We're not gonna go around because of a tiny little Crimean fleet. And it's gonna help us, well, when we're sieging this down. So come on, shop shop. Uh, is this helping me actually? Yeah, the 25 artillery gives me the extra bonus. Well, to 5. We can go all the way up to 8, but yeah, that's a bit too hard. Uh, let's see, currently the province. Yes. No more in uh, influenza. It's going anywhere. And then you're gonna march in right there. Um, Commonwealth trade <laughs> dispute. Yeah, I don't think I'd care about that. Uh, let's go up. Let's see, we do have still tons and tons of diplo points right here. Let's strengthen government. So we get two more absolutism. Uh, we're gonna do some more Merkelis. Thank you, free right there. And uh, we're gonna invest in technology right here. Very good. Just one more. One more time in admin and we're gonna have some really nice stuff right there. Uh, it seems like my state, military state, need a bit more land. So we're gonna give you... Sure, you can get that one. And then you're gonna be happy right away. Was it a horrible choice? Mm, not the best choice actually, because you have our well, Volga local trade power. Let's try to avoid those areas, but uh, it's fine. If I were more careful about how much money I earned, then that would have been a bad choice. But right now I'm a bit of a free spender, spending a bit left and right. And there we go. We're gonna core everything right here, and it's gonna be beautiful. No more revolt risk. Boom. Oh, actually one place right here at Nugai. 2%. Uh, because you're probably getting converted right here. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Are you done? No, you're not allowed to mock in right here. Come on. Let's send my entire army as well. So you have 8 bonus. Everything is being blocked. And well, that went quick. Uh, let's march in right here. You're going to move up. Destroy the last little area right here. Sorry, Crimea. Time for you to end. I just wanted some more prestige right now, so I can steal my Defender of Faith from... From... Uh, well, Bengal. You are right now at how much? You are right now at... C yeah, I will be able to go past you. Just by taking this. Uh, let's see. But you won't accept this because this would be annexation of you. Well, we'll see when Scotland accepts that my superiority is... Well, supreme. Uh, we could also kill you off, but that would be a, oh yeah, that would be a much larger war. Never mind, let's not do that. Uh, we could go next level right here already. Should we? We don't have anything else to spend military power on right now. Uh, legitimacy is still very much, <laughs> very much upwards. Um, actually, we could do this. Support right there. That means we lose some, and then we promote it. I mean 77, let's see, can we do anything else right here? Uh, let's see, that's just lose 5 prestige. Nope, not anything right there. Let's just ask for money, I think, right there. Thank you. That means we have 10,000 ducats right now. We're gonna just build a couple of buildings with that money. Some extra force limit. There we go. 1.1k, that's enough. Um, we're gonna, this is probably going to increase my force limit by 20 or something. We have to think about that. Everything has autonomy. So even if I build a building that gives 2, 
Maybe it's at 50% autonomy, which means, well, we only get get one. If it's 75%, we're gonna get 0 0.25. No, we're gonna get uh, 0 0.5 then, yeah. Uh, engage war in the same province I'm standing in. How dare you? That's almost a CB. Uh, Crimea won't, nope. I'm gonna annex you. There's there's nothing to it. Sorry, Crimea. You're just a pawn in this great play right now. Crimea River. God damn it, I shouldn't have done that one again. Come on, shop shop. Uh, Ming is no longer available as a rival for me. What? Did you explode? No, not really. How in hell are you not available as a rival for me anymore? I have no clue. Uh, let's pick the next... Actually, we don't have any military stuff to do. Let's just wait a bit more. We might be able to use our military power for more legitimate bonuses. Or absolute bonuses right there. God, this is beautiful, really. Having 77 absolutes. We... Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we can get to... That's 5%. Ah, oh, damn it. I think there's a scheme to get 100% absolutes. But I don't know how to get the last 5%. Like the max legitimacy, or max absolutism. Huh, how in hell do I get those last 5%? Maybe a random modifier, some kind of ID. I, I will have to look into that. Maybe we can get, we have received quite a bit of achievements this playthrough, which is nice. But I don't really care about it, it's just something something to aim at. While you're at something else. Uh, let's see, if we still clear war right here, yeah, that would still be... Well, only the knights, because I guess you are a defender of faith, which means, well, we can't steal it. Uh, let's see, no more prestige than you. Are you still locked at 99%? Yeah. God damn it, I, won't, I need to end this right now, so I can get 100% and you still be, have less than that. Wait, I won't actually get 100% anymore. I would have to do something more. If I remove one of these things, if you just not take that one, I will break the alliance right there. And I will force more reparations. There we go. That would give me 100%. So I'm going to do this. So you're not completely killed off yet. And now I can steal it from them. Oh god. They would have been. They good, would have had enough in two months. So that's extremely lucky. <laughs> Luckily. I, damn lucky that I actually saw it. Which means Crimea. You're not fully annexed anymore. Well. My plans to fully annex you are not there anymore. But. God, that was close. Uh, we are blocking off this entire way right now. Yes, we are. Spain, do we have an alliance with you? Well, do we have a truce with you? That's the important part. Not that we have an alliance with you. Yeah, no. And I think I'm going to declare the war against the Commonwealth. Because, well, that means I can actually take the capital. Otherwise, it'd be I would have to push up right here in Spain. And that would be pretty goddamn dangerous. Uh, so, what can I? You only have personal union of Spain or Commonwealth? Good. No one, no one weird, no one... A sneaky enemy coming in this time. Nope. Good. We are at 1755. Do we have anyone else? Like, is this the greatest war we're gonna have? I think so. Like Ming, Com it's Commonwealth in Spain. They are basically the same force limit as me if they add together their strength. I, I will just go up in my golden age right now, I think. We won't have it to the end of the game, but they have already wasted theirs. So let's go to our Golden Age right now. Boom. Arabian Golden Age. Plus 10% and, well, pretty borders and stuff like that. So, let's increase it to 95 right here. We're going to core both of these things. And very good. We are going to, let's see, do we have anything more we can pick right here? No, we need to pick the last idea right there. Excellent. Let's just pick it. And that means we are unlocking... Okay. This one, which isn't super important right now, 5% less ID cost and 10% more stability cost. Actually, I'd rather not pick it right now, so let's ignore it. And then we also have these two lovelies. Leader Siege, so that's basically when we recruit leaders, they're at least going to have always one siege. And But the 20% combat build right there is going to be beautiful. Yeah, but anyway guys, I think I will... Uh, actually, why the hell not? We have two minutes. Yeah, we basically have two minutes. So I'm gonna start this war right now. Imperial, Capital, Warsaw, let's do it. The Knights are the only ones gonna be calling. Let's see, where are the Knights right now? They're still right there. The little poor li <laughs> little Knights over here. Uh, let's see, where is my fleet actually? It's right here. Anything to upgrade? 
Nope, then you're just gonna do this. Hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. Let's go. Uh, we could get a leader right here. Mm, should be fine right now. You have 39 heavy ships. You should be stronger than any other fleet. Let's go with this. Boom, Imperial Capital Warsaw. And this time we're gonna march up and just bring you down. We are, we are waiting for... Basically, this time we are ready. We're standing. We're not surprised by... Hello. Spain. You can't say no to that war. Commonwealth is junior partner. Thank you guys for joining me for this episode. I hope you like, comment and subscribe. I will look into what the hell this is. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.